Hello everybody and welcome to my new mini series that I'm going to be doing. Um, it's for creating a Twitch, but really an IRC bot. So uh, we're going to be making this bot using Python. So I'm going to quickly run through uh, how to get Python set up, how to get the ID we're going to be using set up and all of that so that everybody has the same development environment and there's no no questions, nobody having trouble uh, getting everything working. So we're going to be making this using PyCharm. PyCharm is a an ID um, by JetBrains. You can get it by going to this website. JetBrains.com slash PyCharm. You're going to click download now and then you're going to click the community version. It's free and it works great. So I already have it installed on my Mac. Um, I'm going to go through how to install it on Windows in a bit because we're going to have to do a little bit more to get it working on Windows uh, because Python doesn't come with Windows by default. But I'll get to that in a bit. First, I'm going to set it up on my Mac. I haven't even set it up yet. So when you download it, this is what will happen for the very first time. iCharm will open. This is if you're on a Mac, as I said. Um, it might ask you some settings things that I already configured. And then if you were to create a new project, you should, if you're on a Mac again, you should have Python installed already. So if you don't, you're going to see where to get it when we do the Windows version, but we're going to use 2.7 for this project. And I will make this go into desktop. Um, and we'll call the folder math Python projects. Create. Oh, that was actually supposed to be the name of the project itself, I think. Oops. All right, let's start that over because I don't like that name. I could just rename it, but let's just start from the beginning. So we run PyCharm. If it will ever open. There we go. New project. We're going to call it TwitchBot. Again, make sure 2.7 is selected, which it is. And that's how you get, that's all you have to do to get it set up. So let's move over to Windows for a second. So this is, this is Windows 10, running on my virtual machine on my Mac. So I don't even have this downloaded yet, so I'm going to hit download get the Windows version of PyCharm. Hopefully the download will start. My, win my Windows virtual machine has a uh, some kind of virus that I'm having trouble getting rid of, so don't mind those pop-ups down here. They're not because of this website. They're because every website makes that happen to me. So you can ignore that. This website is very safe. JetBrains is a very good company that makes very good software. Anyway, so hopefully this will not take too long to download. So again, for this episode, we're just getting the whole environment set up. Um, I'll go back to the Mac for a second. So you should be able to 
make a Python program now. If you're if you're on the Mac and everything's set up with PyCharm. To test that, you can actually go to your terminal and you can type just Python, hit enter. And if something comes up that's not that doesn't say that command wasn't found or whatever, then that means you have Python working. Um, and you won't have any trouble moving forward. So that's good. You quit out of the terminal. This download should be done now. So if you're on a Mac, you can skip this part. If you're on a Windows, you're probably going to want to watch this. So now I'm installing PyCharm for Windows. Yes, yes, it doesn't matter where. We can associate Python files with that, it's fine. Yes, install. So this shouldn't take too long to install. Hopefully. So in the meantime, let me show you what we're actually gonna be making here. So if I go to my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash limeoats, <clears throat> if you're not familiar with Twitch, this is what it looks like. I'm not streaming right now, so it's going to say I'm offline, but the chat's active always. So if you watch my chat over here. Uh, yeah, watch my chat. I'm going to run my existing bot that I've already made before, Limeoats bot. This is just a Python program that I'm running from this directory. If I run it, you'll see Limeoats bot joins the chat. There's a lot of stuff over here in the terminal that comes up, and then every message that I type in here from my Twitch user, Limeoats, shows up in the terminal, and then we can make the bot say things, we can make it respond to commands, all that kind of stuff. So it's a very real Twitch user in my chat right now. Pretty cool. So that's what we're going to be making in this short series. So anyway, let's head back to Windows. It's done. I'll hit run. I don't have any settings already, so I'll hit OK. Let it start up. Yes, yes, it's all fine. Hit OK. Create your project. Now, you're going to see, this is if you've never used Python before. When you're on this page, there's no Python interpreter in here at all in this list. You can look around all you want, but you won't find it because it doesn't exist. So you have to actually download and install Python itself. So to do that, see, fire, what? Go to Python 2.7. Google that, or AVG Yahoo Web Search. Oh my goodness, doesn't matter. Get to the Python page, python.org slash download slash releases slash 2.7 and download it. There's a newer version of Python, but we don't need it for this. So since you are on Windows, you're going to want to install, grab this one, it should be fun. 32-bit version. Make sure it installs. Python 27, yes, yes, yes. If you do end up downloading Python 3.5 or whatever it is, 
that's fine, but some of the libraries might be a bit different. It won't be the exact same version as I'm using. So just keep that in mind. The code might not match up perfectly. It might not run properly if you use my code. So Python is now installed. Yay. So let's run PyCharm again. Now hopefully it will have picked it up. Create new project. Invalid. Oh, yep, there we go. So now it found python.exe. And just like I did on the Mac side, you can create your project and you will be in the exact same boat as me right here. So at this point, your whole development environment should be set up whether you're on Mac, Windows, Linux, wherever you might be. So you're ready to get started on the rest. So I think I'm going to end this episode here. And then in the next one, we're going to actually create this bot. So thank you for watching. And I guess I should, you know what, before I, before I stop, let's make a quick text file. Info.txt. Uh, is that too small? I'll make the font a little bit bigger. Luckily, the settings in PyCharm, PyCharm are, are the same. It's the same kind of window as everywhere else. Um, C Lion, IntelliJ, all of that. So what that means is it's easy to get around. I'll make this a little bit bigger, um, say 18, just so that you can see everything I type easily. Yeah, it's much better. So a little bit of info just so you know um, how to follow me and all of that. Um, Twitter, at Limeoats. Discord, see description. I have a Discord server. Um, you can join it, talk to me. I'm always available on there, so please do check that out. You can ask me programming questions, questions about this project, questions about other projects, all that kind of stuff. Obviously, my website. Definitely check this out. Everything about everything I work on is on there. GitHub where this project will be. I don't know why I did that. GitHub.com slash Um, What else? Patreon. Last one that I'll say. Uh, I have a Patreon for the game I'm developing right now, Seasons of Kaleida. You can become a patron and support the project and me and my development of it and all that. To do that, you would go to this website and you can do any kind of donating you want there. And more information about the game and all that is located there. So, and of course, please subscribe to this YouTube channel if you haven't. Um, you'll see lots of updates and everything else on here. And that's it for this episode. So I'll be back with another episode uh, to go over actually creating this bot. So thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.